Hello, Philomath Elementary. My name is Miss Julie, and I am here today with Maxtivity, which is an art studio very near your school. You might have seen it before. Your principal has asked us to come and help you paint some pictures of trees, animals, flowers, and other forest things so that we can make a big mural in the school. Today, we're going to be doing a tree, like an oak tree or a maple tree. I'm going to show you how to paint it, and then you'll cut it out, and your tree will come back to the school and be a part of the mural. So it's going to be a lot of fun putting all of our artwork together when we're all done. So you're going to need paint, paintbrush, cup of water, probably a paper towel, and your paper, of course. So let's get started. I've got my mixed media paper here that's approximately one foot tall and that's the size your paper should be that the school gave you and I've got some green paint which you also should have got from the school now I'm gonna take my paper towel or a napkin or whatever I have that's paper <laughs> hopefully you have a paper towel or a napkin and I'm gonna get it a little bit wet in a glass of water so I'm just gonna dip it real just a little bit in my water. Then I'm gonna dip it in my paint, just lightly. And I am going to rub it on my paper because I wanna create a green background. And that's not quite enough. I need to get a little more water and a little more paint. I don't want it to be super wet because I'm gonna paint on this and I don't want it to be all soggy. But I do want to create a background so that my background isn't just white. That's probably pretty good. All right, if you have a lot of water on yours, take the dry side of your paper towel and kind of wipe it off so it's not soaking wet. Great. Now, you should have been given some of this paint, which is brown. I think you might also call it um, burnt sienna, a fancy name for brown. I'm gonna take my round brush and I'm going to get some of that paint and I'm gonna make a trunk for my tree. I'm gonna start at the bottom of the page. I'm just gonna go up about that far, just up about, not quite halfway. It's just two lines, two parallel lines. And then, I am going to go ahead and paint my trunk in with 
my round brush. Now I want two branches going off to the sides. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to go with the tip of my brush. I'm not gonna smash it down flat. More like with just the tip touching my paper, I'm gonna go off to the side like that and off at a diagonal to the side like that. Then I'm going to do one tall one in the middle that goes up to a point and it kind of disappears into a point at the top. So I know that looks kind of funny, but we're gonna to add to it, don't worry. So I've got these two diagonal, it looks kind of like wings of a bird, doesn't it? I'm gonna make this branch a little wider at the bottom where it attaches to the tree and over here too. I don't wanna make it thick all the way to the end. I want it to kind of taper off at the end. So I'm using the tip of my brush, trying to make the end skinnier, thinner. And then I'm going to maybe make this a little thicker if it's too thin looking to you. Whoops, I got really thick, didn't it? Didn't mean to do that thick. I'm going to make some branches going off diagonally from the top and from here and from here. So we're gonna add some more branches. We want them to be skinny. And we're just going to use the very tip of our brush and just barely touch our paper, try to make some skinnier branches. Now, if your brush isn't really thin, it's hard to make thin lines. Our brushes that we're working with are a little bit thick. So it can be tricky. But just make some branches coming off to the sides and you'll notice I kind of have a pyramid shape going, right? Here's the bottom of the pyramid or triangle. And then it goes, there's an imaginary line that goes up to the top of my tree and comes down to this side. So it's kind of in a triangle shape. So you want to remember that because we're going to be using that triangle shape for our leaves as well. Maybe I'll put a little more paint down here if my paint on my trunk seems a bit thin. I can make it a little bit a little bit darker. Maybe put a few branches up here at the top. All right, yours does not have to be exactly like mine. Just want some branches, probably two on the bottom and two up here. So at least four branches and then the big one in the middle. Now I'm gonna clean off my brush and my water. Gonna make sure it's clean. And then I'm gonna dab it on my paper towel to dry it. Then I'm gonna take my green paint again. And I am going to make some circles of paint, but I'm not gonna do it like this. I'm going to do it by dabbing the paint. So I'm going to dab a big circle right here. And then I'm gonna kind of put some more dabs of paint inside my circle. And now I'm gonna come right over here on the other side of the tree and it's almost like it's, a, it's symmetrical. It's a mirror image. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna make a big circle right across from it with dots. And then I'm going to fill that in with more dots. Now I don't wanna fill it in completely so that I can't see my branches at all. This is gonna cover up our branches a bit, but we wanna still see our branches a little bit. I'm also gonna put a smaller circle in between those two, just, just above these two branches. So something like that. And put a few dabs in there. So I have one, two, three circles of leaves. Now we're going to put two smaller circles up here. So here's one, fill it in with some dabs. It's a little smaller than that one, not a lot smaller. And then I'm going to do a similar circle on the other side, like a mirror image. It's symmetrical, the same on both sides, pretty much doesn't have to be exactly the same trees are not all exactly the same, right? And now 
I'm going to put one at the top. And it's going to cover up the branches a little bit. That's okay. We don't want to cover them completely. We want something to show through. So there we go. Now that I've got that all done, I might want to make this one a little bigger. All right, that's good for now. So I'm going to rinse my brush. And I'm going to take my white paint and this time, I'm not going to put paint all around the circle. I'm just going to put paint on the top in kind of a, first I'm going to start with kind of a, an arch, like a rainbow shape, because this is the highlight. The green is going to be the shadowy leaves underneath, and the white is going to be the leaves that are shining in the sun, so they're brighter. I'm going to go kind of above those green leaves I kind of make a rainbow shape. I'll just do a few to show you. Just kind of make it an arch kind of above those, a little bit on top of them. They overlap a little bit. And then I'll do another one underneath. Now I don't want them to be perfect arches. I might want them to come about halfway down, but I don't want to put white down on the bottom half of my circles. So I'm doing my arch, maybe a little bit higher than the green. I don't want to cover up the green completely, no. I'm just doing that. So now that I've got my tree all decked out, I can look at it and I can go, hmm, is there enough green on this tree? Are there enough leaves? I see a big empty space here. I don't want to fill in all the spaces. I want to be able to see my trunk and my branches, but I don't want to have too much bare space. So I might just connect this part here and this part here with a few more dots. That's all I want to do. Just so there's not so much empty space. So you just have to look at your own tree and see whether you think you need to fill in a little more. And if you think you have too much white, well, you can just take some green and go over some of your white with a few dabs. Take out some of that white, just only if you think you have too much. Maybe you like your white and you think it's perfect how it is. It's up to you. But when I dab right on top of the white with my green, it kind of makes a cool design, doesn't it? Now, I might want to put a little bit of barky looking highlights on my trunk and I could do that by mixing a little bit of green and white and making a light a light green or I could just I could use straight white and just really gently I don't want big stripes I'm just gonna take the very tip of my brush and just make a few little vertical dashes of color. Maybe a few going out of my branches, maybe one up here. I don't want to color the whole thing white. I just want to add a little bit of texture so it looks like tree bark. And if I've decided that I don't like my tree bark or I've got too much, I can get some more of that brown and I can just Put a little brown over my white and make it not so white. Kind of lightly touch it, blend it in a little bit, but I'm always going, I'm always moving up and down, not sideways, because that's how bark looks on a tree, right? The texture on a tree, the bark is going usually that direction. When we, that's how we perceive it anyway. I think there's maybe a little bit too much white right here, so I'm gonna add a little bit of my brown in there. All right, that's basically it for painting our tree. So when it dries, we will cut it out. So this is a tree that I did earlier, so it'd have a little time to dry so I could cut it out. And you can see that the trunk is different. Um, it's shaped a little differently and the branches are shaped a little differently. 
So, and I actually like this one better than the one that I just did. So, you know, if your trunk and branches weren't exactly like mine, that's fine. All trees are different and that's what makes them interesting. We don't want all the trees to look exactly the same. So when I'm cutting out my tree, I know we colored the background and you might not want to cut that off, but you're gonna see the background between the branches of the tree. We are gonna cut right along the trunk. Don't cut the trunk off. And then we're just gonna cut around the leaves. You don't have to cut every individual leaf. You can just kind of go around. Can you see that? And if you wanna be really detailed, you can make it more kind of lumpy. But I wouldn't worry about cutting out every branch and every leaf. If you want to get close, but we don't have to be super, super meticulous. We don't necessarily want perfect circles either, but I could give this one a little shape. Here's a little, just a little bit of a wave there. But see, I didn't cut out every single space. And now I'm going to come back to my trunk. And there we go. I might, maybe I'll cut the bottom off too. So when we get hundreds of trees from all the students and we put them all together on the mural and glue them down, it's going to look like a forest. You helped create a forest. I hope you had fun painting your tree, and I hope that you will be back to school soon and be able to see the mural and come to Max Divity sometime and do some art with us.